Hey again, thanks for tuning in again. I hope you're enjoying the blogs that I'm doing. If this is the first time you've tuned in, I'm making a documentary on urine therapy. One of the questions that come up a lot uh, across my past as people email me is how much is the correct amount to drink? And this is quite an interesting um, subject and it was brought up at the Second World Conference on Urine Therapy in Germany. And uh, under much debate, uh, there was quite a big decision between what was the correct amount. Some people said, you know, just a, a small little sake glass was enough. Some saying, you know, a fuller glass um, midstream, obviously, during the morning, or drinking the full amount of anywhere up to, you know, a litre or more. Or the homeopathic method of just dilution of urine and water and then dropping it under your tongue uh, three, four, five drops a day, three times a day, or just actual pure urine under your tongue and holding it there. The decision came that actually everybody was correct. All methods are, are right. And it's not like medicine where you just say, you know, it's two tablets a day, or take this after a meal and so forth. Urine is an organic product. It's produced by yourself. It's your own perfect medicine. And what they mean by that is it's designed for your own self. So therefore, by drinking your own urine, it's sending the messages that are incorrect or imbalanced in your body, and therefore your body can realign those. That's the principal theory of it. So, how much should you drink? As an organic product, it's a natural product, you should drink as much as you like, or as what your body's telling you. So you should listen to what your body's saying. So if you're drinking a lot or going on a urine fast and drinking all your urine, you might see a huge effect. And this then comes into the healing crisis. And then some people panic. As soon as they have a healing crisis, they think they're getting sick from the urine. This is not necessarily the case. This is your body telling you it's correcting its imbalances. What are the side effects? Diarrhea, fatigue, vomiting, and so forth. So this is a natural process. So that could mean that you're going too hard too fast. So that means you need to pull back. In recent studies from one of the doctors I spoke to in Japan, he stated that a lot of people weren't drinking enough. So therefore, a small glass midstream every morning wasn't adequate enough for certain diseases. So this depending on what you were on. So, for instance, one of his uh, patients who was diagnosed of having full-blown AIDS, she was not drinking ample amounts. So he put her on a urine fast, where she drank all the urine all day and fasted on water and urine. And within a short time, of matter of months, her complete AIDS virus was gone. Now, she'd been tested prior to this, so it was quite a big step. So therefore, there is proof out there that something as severe as that can be cured. People have also cured cancers from drinking urine or not even drinking, just putting it into a cloth and placing it onto the area that has cancer. I have met women who had breast cancer. They couldn't come to the, the, the confabulum of drinking urine. It was just too distasteful for them. But they heard about urine therapy, so they applied it topically on their skin. And this actually pulled all the cancer out of the breast. The lump had risen to the top and moved its way out. So therefore, it worked in that form. So the best advice I could probably give everybody is just be your own doctor in that sense. Find out what you're most comfortable with and experiment <coughs> to your own personal levels. So therefore, then find your own balance. But important thing of all is listen to your body and what your body says, and what your body allows you to drink. Okay, well I hope that helps, and keep watching for some more. Thanks very much. Feel free to subscribe to the page as well, because uh, the more you subscribe, the longer videos I can make. Thanks.